We have actually had to switch cameras because our battery died. I've done this probably like 10 times now before. It is, what is it? 27 matches, no, 27 games in order to win the final set. Here we go again with advantage Sangha over Milos, who is refusing to go down like true champions. Incredible tennis. And we have now had up to 28 games, and we're not done yet. 19 games up. I believe that's a match apiece. Um, incredible tennis. This has actually been quite a joy to sit here and watch this. It's a once in a lifetime event and certainly I like to believe this is a very peculiar situation with 28 games for the final set. Anyway, let's just see how much I can get of this. Alright gang, it's me again. I've done this now 12 times. It is 20 to 19 games in the final set. I'm trying to record the finish of this match, and yet both competitors are refusing to go down. Sangha has been uh, pushing, getting the advantage each time, and Milos comes back fiery hot and uh, just comes back with another win. We're at 29 matches, advantage Sangha. Let's see how this uh, turns out. Sangha! Sangha! Crowd is into it. It's been three hours, 23 minutes of play. Look at the scoreboard. And here we go. Guess what? Announcer, please. If you can see that game, that scoreboard, it is 41 games in the making for the final set. I believe that's more than a couple matches now. I've recorded this ending at least 15 times now. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but nevertheless, here we go again with uh, Milos and Sangha. Sangha, 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 driving to win, and Milos refusing to go down. There we go, Sangha, first time with the lead in the, in the finals. Oh, the rocket serve, too. 230 kilometers. It's a rocket. It's different this time. It's different this time. Wow. Thirty up, my golly. Once again, Milos refusing to go down. Just two powerhouses on the tennis court trying to keep in the game. Deuce, this game is on, ladies and gentlemen. With the sun finally shining after three hours, 33 minutes of game time, we are down to Deuce in the 42nd game of the final set. Sangha with an advantage with that return. I guess, I guess it was out of bounds. Oh, uh, this is really crucial. Thank you, my Again, is this 
what the Olympics is all about. 40, 41 games in, holding out to not lose. Is this perseverance? Sangha, Sangha. Oh! 224 kilometer serve. Advantage Milos. And we go again, 42, 42 games. I'm gonna run out of battery on this camera too. Incredible, look at the scoreboard. So that recording was basically worthless. I don't know if you can see that, but that is 45 games in the final set in order to win this match. After some three hours and 47 minutes of play, we are now embarking on the 46th game, game of the competition within the last set between Milos and Sangha. Sangha, who's been fighting hard to win this thing, but Milos refusing to go down like a true champion. Incredible tennis, and I am truly in amazement of what a match I've been able to win this. Let's see how it pans out. Sangha! Sangha! Good God, that is unbelievable, 40, 46 games up, and then says, this is a, a battle of the titans, unbelievable, Wembley's getting dark. I feel like I'm in an episode of Groundhog Day. I have done this some 17 times now before. We are now at game 47. No, we are at game 48 of the final of the final set between Milos and Sangha. Sangha, who's fighting, fighting his way every time, winning the advantage, and Milos refusing to go down and winning the set back to tie it up. You have to win by two. Let's see how this goes. Truly an incredible day of tennis. I'm honored to be able to witness this, and this is beyond my imagination of what triumph is all about. Sangha! Some three hours and 53 minutes of play, and here we go again. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're gonna get a ruling on that. Oh yeah. We're good. Oh. 
it's usually followed up by a rocket serve like that at 218 kilometers per hour. Get that. Who's gonna get that? Oh yeah, Sangha! 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 Oh, this is beautiful. There's gonna be one happy man after this tournament. Sangha, the closest he's been in some 15, 15, in some 15 tiebreakers. Here we go at game 48, game 48. Not gonna make it easy for him. Milos again refusing to go down. Oh, how fast is that? 212 kilometers per hour. something so crazy. I thought volleyball was good. This just blows that out of the water. I came here for intense matches and I got it. Unbelievable. Truly, truly amazing. Amazing. There is a champion who did not let up. Sangha! Sangha! All right, gang, I'm calling it a day. I have had quite an emotional, quite an emotional experience uh, watching that tennis match. Um, there's another match to follow with uh, Watson, one of the uh, hometown favorites, and Kurilenka from Russia, and I am too beat out to watch the match. Um, it was just really great to see something so incredible, and I think I don't, I don't think anything's gonna be able to top that except for a uh, cocktail party that I'm scheduled to go to tonight. Um, anyways, I just want to say signing off from Wimbledon, I had an incredible time, and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. And I have to say one more, on a, a final note, that, uh, you know, I was a little discouraged earlier about where I was sitting and why I wasn't in the center court, and I learned how to accept things, and you realize that you never know what you're going to run to run into if you just accept things the way they are. And truly, I saw something that'll probably be the most memorable moment of this entire event, and you could see from my reaction how much I enjoyed it. So, anyways, uh, take what's given to you and make the best of it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.